Nia Ode me be kono e ho e na me pe. Another day, a brand new day. The day the Lord has set aside. Let's continue to trust in the Lord and believe in that He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Our theme for reflection today is beware of tribalism. Beware. Beware of tribalism. Beware of tribalism. Second Samuel 9, Second Samuel 19, 9 to 15. Second Samuel 19, 9 to 15. And he said, Now all the people were at strife throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, The king served us, served us out of the hand of our enemies. And he delivered us out of the hand of the Philistines. Now, now he is fled out of the hand of for Absalom. And Absalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in the battle. Now, therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing the king back? And the king sent to Zadok and to Abiata the priest, saying, Speak unto the elders of Judah, saying, Why are ye the last to bring the king back to his house? Seeing the speech of all Israel is come to the king, even to his house. You are my brethren, you are my bones and my flesh. Wherefore then are ye last to bring back the king? And say ye to Amasa, I'll die not of my bone, of my flesh. God do so to me. And more also, if thou be not captain of the house, host before he, me continually in the room of Joab. And he bowed the heart of all the men of Judah, even at the heart of one man. So they shall send this sword into the king. Return thou and all thy servant. Beware of tribalism. The young sir, sir, yebema, yebema yatiti mu. And tribalism is a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. Mifiha, mifiha. Adinti timuba. You know, tribalism enables, it creates sometimes confusion here and there. People go through a lot and beware of the basis of tribalism. We should embrace the positive side and reject the negative side of it. Yes, I would have said, Oba Boye, Na Yako Yenim, Na Yemu Yenu as Yenina Bako, Yenkamu, Na Yanko Yenim, Yakabu Muni Yako Yenima. And it should have been very dangerous of tribalism. Somebody will ask, what does the mean of tribalism has to do with a tribe? A tribe is a group. Tribalism is a tribe. It's a group of people that feel connected to each other in a meaningful way because they share something in common that matters to them. And sometimes, even if you are not sharing something in common, we need to unite for a common goal. Sometimes tribalism has to do with tribe, has to do with the class, the kinship, the ethnicity, the religion, the language, ideology, nationality, lifestyle. But what is the man? What is that? This connection binds individuals into a group that allows them to make a distinction between us members. Sometimes how we address it. So when we talk about tribalism, we are really talking about it's a pattern of attitudes. And behaviors that human beings tend to adopt when we come to identify with our tribes. So, it, tribalism has to do with pattern of attitudes and behaviors we tend to adopt when we come to identify with our tribes. And sometimes it comes in a way we are good, they are bad. 
We are right. They are wrong. We are worthy. They are unworthy. We are rational. They are irrational. Our beliefs are true. Their beliefs are false. And all this creates confusion, division, and war among us. But don't forget, we are all one in the body of Christ. May the Lord help us so that all of us will come together. May His grace be sufficient for us. May we come together irrespective of color, irrespective of height, irrespective of our political affiliation. Let's come together to fight a common goal in the presence of God. May God help us all. May the blessings of God be with us. May His grace rest upon us. In the name of Jesus. We wish above all things that the presence of God will carry you through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm Reverend Fosak of Yampo for peace and life to you. Amen. Good day, listener, and peace be with you. Thank you for listening to the Presby Daily Almanac Reflection, brought to you by Reverend Foster Ampofu. Reverend has written two books, Conquering Through Prayer and God of All Grace. They are now available for pre-order. If you would like to order them, kindly dial, if based in the UK, 785 118 that's 785 118 If you're outside the UK, then dial 0044-785-118-2040. 0044-785-118-2040. God bless you for buying these books. Have a blessed day. Amen.